Yeah, there's a couple of specific things that I look at when I'm um, picking my perfect bat. Um, the first thing, just when I look over the bat, is actually making sure that I see the back of the bat is really full. It's not um, concaved out, which a lot of the bats can do nowadays. I like really seeing full coverage across the back of the bat, so I know that if I miss hit the ball on the outer part, outer, outer part of the edge, that the bat's not going to spin in my hands as easily. Um, the other one is just the balance and the feel of the bat. For me, I don't weigh my bats. Um, I know around about what my weight would be, but I'm not specific on my weights. It's more so how balanced the bat is, um, how it feels in my hand, more so than actual the specific weight of the bat. Um, the other thing is, and most importantly, is actual how the ball comes off the bat. So um, I've got a you know, technique of banging bats, um, an edge of another bat onto the face to know sort of what the length of the what the length of the middle is. Um, and for me, a good bat is when the middle just about goes from nearly down to the toe all the way up to just about the top of the sticker, which lucky enough all my gun and more bats do have. So, um, so they're the three major things that I really look at when I'm, um, when I'm picking my perfect bat.